Hello and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And today we're looking at another synovial fluid. Yes. This one a little bit different, which is good. We don't want to get all samey samey. Yep. Um, so one thing that stands out to me looks bloody, right? So um we talk about correlating like cell counts and things like that. And although red cell counts are not particularly important, especially in synovial fluids, different institutions might have different procedures. I think it's important to look at the sample, go, that's a little bit bloody, right? And then when we look at the cytospin and we go, okay, that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So if I see a blood red sample and I make a cytospin and there's no red cells on there, I'm worried if I made the right preparation or, or you know, switch some, something up. So. Mm -hmm. Um, some rough correlations are always helpful. Yep. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got some red cells and then definitely some white cells and stuff. So let's let's just look around a little bit. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to be on low power and we're going to look for big scary stuff or anything of note that might kind of stick out to us. <clears throat> and then and during this process, we'll be able to pick like a good area to to start our actual differential. I love the amount of uh, the cellularity here is very nice. Mm. We don't want it to be too concentrated, but I look like I can get a uh, hundred cells pretty easily too, so. Yeah. I miss doing body fluids. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think it looks pretty good, pretty even. Yep, me too. So I'm not even particularly worried about where we where we choose. Wonderful. Perfect. So we're on 40, I assume? Yep. Perfect. So um, I would probably use this lower objective because of the cellularity and everything jives with it pretty well, so... Yeah. Nice. I'm not going to count them, but lots of neutrophils. Yep. Yeah. The, the, the 40X can give you a nice idea, too, because if on 10, you just see that there's kind of a general nice spread, that's good. But if you drop down in this area and you see mostly neutrophils and then you're scanning on 40 in another area, you see other things, that's helpful. Yeah, it is. That can help you even further picking the area. Can we just go right to oil? Yeah, sure. So the differential itself will be relatively easy here. Yeah. But as always, the tough part about body fluids is the qualitative findings that accompany these cells. So um, being a synovial fluid, I'm going to try to be conscious to be looking for bacteria. Um, septic joints are not uncommon. And the other thing was crystals. Is this um, good for lighting, Dave? Absolutely. Looks beautiful on my side. So, you know, um, we're, we're not sure we're going to encounter crystals, but uh, if we did, crystals usually uh, appear as a negative space, okay? Yeah. They don't take up the stain. Mm -hmm. Yep. They don't take up the stain. So, um, and being intracellular, they've been phagocytized by either a neutrophil or a macrophage. We'll basically see a negative space mm -hmm. and, and that, that'll be what we're looking for. Um, well, so. and because we're actually seeing blood on this one, I just want to point out that we're not going to do RBC morphology. Yeah, we don't want to do. <laughs> Very low utility comes from uh, RBC morphology, especially given the cytoprep. Yeah, and RBCs don't belong there. Yeah, they don't. Exactly. <laughs> so even if you had schistocytes or weird morphologies, it's not indicative of the no. what's going on in the peripheral blood and, uh, and stuff. So, yeah. Great point. Yeah, don't call Rulo. <laughs> Those would not be body fluid uh, findings we care about. Cool. Okay. So I do notice that the neutrophils look a little shaggy. They do. Um, they look beat up. Yep. So in my experience, it could be the age of the fluid, but the other thing a lot of times is like infection. I think infection will produce... Uh, 
uh, appearance like this. Yeah, uh, inflammation too. So maybe there's just some kind of severe inflammation in the absolutely the patient's joint. Absolutely. Yep. So yeah, on my counter, I'm kind of neutrophil. I'm hitting the neutrophil button a lot. These neutrophils look more like neutrophils than yep. in the first synovial fluid that we looked I, at. I agree, one hundred percent. Yeah, they're less uh, pink. Yeah, less vibrantly pink, mm -hmm. like an EO. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of blood, so you got to kind of sift through the blood to. Yep. To see, and we're not really having this problem. You know, what? let me go a little bit more internal. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to have this problem with this slide in general, but when no, you have, this is a wonderfully made slide, I would say too. When you have really, really bloody fluid, sometimes they, they really, the blood will squish the white cells and it makes it really, really challenging to evaluate. Mm -hmm. We don't have that problem here. I'm sure we'll see other ones where we will have that problem, but. One of the things I took pride in is I generally manage cellularity really well. Because you don't want it to be too cellular. Yeah. I, I that you should remake the slide. Yes. <laughs> this is well wonderfully done, in my opinion. So I just want to point out that this is not a crystal. You're such a good teacher. And it's just right? a watermark. Yep. Yep. It's just drying artifacts. <laughs> And we can see that it's not in the same focal plane yeah. as as the cells. It's kind of sitting on top. Yep. So. I'm so happy we're doing body fluids. You know what? This neutrophil is so cool that we're going to look at it. You can see the filament. Connecting yeah, you can. All of the lobes. Very, How very freaking fine, cool is that? <laughs> it is pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, all of them you can see. Yep. You can see the little stringy. It almost looks like balloons with the strings. Yeah. <laughs> balloon string together balloon animals. As a lot of our Carly colleagues do, uh, looking at neutrophils is kind of like looking at the clouds. You'll see uh, funny shapes and. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at the filaments they look so yep. cool it is i thought you were going yeah. when you said to our colleagues i thought you were still talking about balloon animals i was gonna be like <laughs> what colleague do we have makes balloon animals <laughs> oh man well you, you get those like uh you know those mean cells right with like the smiley face Oh, yeah, no, no, I totally yeah. get that. I thought you were going to talk about balloon <laughs> animals, though. I was going to be like, please tell me who makes balloon animals. <laughs> that was a cool talent, actually. Good party tricks. Right. <clears throat> so really just lots of neutrophils here. There yeah. it is. Is that one? And There's perhaps like the occasional, yeah, yep, mono, mac, maybe kind of. Yeah. There's quite a bit of vacuoles, uh, but they're all like nicely round. I don't see any organisms, bacteria or yeast. Uh... No, I don't see anything exciting either. Oh, it's... Oh, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we have a lymphocyte. Um, what we notice about this lymphocyte is that the uh, cytoplasm is basically pink, right? What lymphocyte has a pink cytoplasm? And so this speaks to the effect that the body fluids pH has on the performance of the stain. That's all that this is, right? If this lymph was in uh, a nice pH, it would have a nice blue cytoplasm. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, you almost want to be thinking about body fluids in a black and white kind of, uh, you know, and don't put too much stock on the, on the colors. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> your, your regular peripheral blood atlas is not going to be quite as helpful because the cells are going to take on 
these different colors, these different, slightly different appearances because either the stain or because of the cytospin. Yep. Yep. Mm. you looking at this stuff yeah just smudge Me junk. Too. yeah yep, yep. but i i i always have a little bit of pause as i kind of scan through it yeah oh. yeah so we, we both paused to look at this because there are some organisms that kind of give back that they don't take up the stain but when stain gets around them, you can see that there's something that's not taking up the stain. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we have a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, anaerococcus. And then histoplasma can sometimes histo. look like that. We have a peripheral blood smear with histo, but you could find that in a body fluid as well. But yeah, so that's why, that's why we, we both stopped to be like, what is that? Yeah, so relatively uh, boring in a good way. Yes. Um, for as far as some alveolar fluids go, so. Yeah, uh, I think so. So I don't think there's much else to this one. Another nice, easy fluid. Yep. So always be prepared for the nice, easy ones and also be prepared <laughs> for the scary stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's all we have for this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you for your time.